Now, here's the thing about meditation. All studies of meditation show, unless you are a very experienced meditator, your concentration, your focus will drift away from your breathing and away from that location about just behind your forehead. That will happen maybe every 10 seconds, every 20 seconds, maybe even every five seconds. But an important part of such a meditation practice to improve concentration and focus is that you are continually refocusing back to that specific location and refocusing back on your breath. This is something that, again, is not often discussed. People think that if you do a meditation and you're supposed to concentrate on your breath, that if your mind drifts, that somehow you failed in that meditation. But actually, that's not the case. A huge component of improving your ability to focus and concentrate by way of neuroplasticity, rewiring of the circuits for focus and concentration is the repeated return to a state of focus from a state of non-focus or diminished focus. Okay, so think about it like trying to drive down the freeway and staying between the lane lines. And every once in a while, because there's a bit of drift on the vehicle, it starts to drift right a little bit. Then you hit the rumble strip and then you pull back to the center. That's really what a focused meditation practice is about, as opposed to expecting yourself to stay between the mental lane lines, so to speak. By doing that repeatedly over and over, what you're really training up is the network within your brain that indeed includes that prefrontal cortex that you're focusing on, as well as some other structures, the infratemporal cortex, indeed the hippocampus, a structure associated with memory, and other components of the neural circuit that are involved in directing our mental focus and concentration. Again, I can't emphasize the importance of this practice being one of focusing and refocusing. In fact, I would prefer to call such a practice a refocus focus meditation or a constantly refocusing, or maybe you all can come up with a better name for it. I'm certainly not that good at naming things.